rich pork, they stored pasta, like pasto and uh, pasta. Not whole. What was the other one? It's, 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 more it's in there. Okay. It's in there, yeah. Right, right. Like close to North Conroe, that's where they okay. have it. Okay. And name, yeah. Really rotten. It's cold. Oh, really? And it's a, it, Oh, right. So even in San Diego, like we live in San Diego, even in San Diego, and Pacific's colder than you went, it's cold. Like it's pretty cold all year round, the water in San Diego. So all the surfers. It's like over West. Westers, yeah. Yeah, like you go in and play in the water, but like really swim, it's cold. Yeah. Very nice. Where are you going? Good. Oh, where, I'm driving, where are you? Where are you from? Driving, um, I didn't look into that. I'm driving. Yeah. Where we're are you driving from? from San Francisco down to San Diego. On the coast. On the coast. So it's yeah. fun. Convertible. It's, ha it's hard. It's like hard it's, to drive. It's, it. it's very windy yeah. and a lot of traffic. But yeah. but like um, Dennis and I have done it from San Francisco to, to San Diego. For a while, we pulled off and went down um, highway. Like went down uh, yeah, what is it? Mar you know the one. Yeah. Right, one one of the highways. But then we came back. But uh, where are you staying in San Diego? We're staying in a teeny little hotel. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. And like okay. between San Francisco and Santa Barbara. Yeah. yeah. Between the stop and between Santa Barbara. Yeah, yeah. All, that, all that jazz. All that jazz. Yeah. 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 My favorite is this. <laughs> but <laughs> as we were in Maine last weekend, I said, we're going coast to coast from sh sea to shining sea. Like, how many people can say that? Well, you can.
Welcome to Temple B'nai Or. You, you notice uh, there's someone different up here this, <laughs> this Shabbat. Our cantor, of course, is uh, away in Israel right now, and we are joined by our beloved congregant, Tally Byer, to lead us in, in, uh, in our prayers tonight. So please join in and sing along. So I welcome you if you want, on the bimo with me. Thank you. It's let, great to be here. Let us welcome each other. Turn to the people around you. Wish each other Shabbat Shalom. And you introduce yourselves. If you're online, please introduce yourself there in the chat. Today was the first day of the month of Av. Rosh Chodesh, the, the new moon festival, Av, or the first nine days of Av, especially are a time of mourning in the Jewish calendar. The ninth day of Av is uh, a day where we commemorate the calamities of Jewish history. But today, right now, starting Shabbat, we don't mourn. We're full of joy. And I want to enjoy, uh, offer this prayer, a Rosh Chodesh prayer by Marsha Falk. May we be remembered, and may those who came before us be remembered, and may all the communities of Israel be remembered for blessing and for goodness, for graciousness, kindness, and compassion, for life and for peace. On this Rosh Chodesh day, we remember and we seek to be remembered in the ongoing history of our people. And so as we transition from Rosh Chodesh into Shabbat with the lighting of our candles, which can be found on page two in the, in the Sidor, it's my honor to call up uh, Jeff Byer to the Bima as he lights the candles with Hallie. Oh,
Psalm 95, the psalm that starts Kabbalat Shabbat, Ekun Adonai, Nariat Suyichenu. Come, let us sing joyously to Adonai, raise a shout for our rock and deliverer. So let's sing joyously, let's raise a shout. Bakadodi, it's on page 20. Israel. 
Bagala, Bagala, Ubis man kari, Nimiru, Amen, Yeshmira, Bamibara, Leolama, Mea, Maya, Nitbara, Nitbara, Nishaba, Ubar, Vitoma, Vita, say, Vita, Vita, Le, Vita, La. Shemedu Kurusha, Rehu, Elam in Koberhata, Vashirata, Tushbehata, Venehemata, Damiran Biama, Vimeru, Amen. Adonai, your majesty is proclaimed by the marvels of earth and sky. Sun, moon, and stars testify to your power and wisdom. Day follows day in endless succession, and the years vanish, but your sovereignty endures. Though all things pass, let not your glory depart from us. Help us to become co-workers with you, and endow our fleeting days with abiding worth. Together, in each age, we receive and transmit Torah. At each moment, we are addressed by the world. In each age, we are challenged by our ancient teachings. At each moment, we stand face to face with truth. In each age, we add our wisdom to that which has gone before. At each moment, the knowing heart is filled with wonder. In each age, the children of Torah become its builders and seek to set the world firm on a foundation of truth. Who 
shortam leot al yadecha vehayu la totavot bene necha uchtam al mezuzot beteha uvisharecha leman tiskeru basitem et kol mitzvot hai kitem kiddushim lelehem. Ani Adonai Elohechem, Asher Hotzeti Etem, Peretz Mitzrayim, Lehot Lachem, Lelohim, Ani Adonai Elohechem. Adonai Elohechem, Amen. Page 151, let's pray responsibly. We worship the power that unites the universe, a promise of harmony for all. Yet that oneness eludes our grasp, as, as imperfection and evil abound. Before our eyes there is a vision of perfection, order, and goodness. There is evil enough to break the heart, and there is good enough to exalt the soul. When will redemption come? When we grant everyone what we claim for ourselves. Long ago we escaped the tyranny of Egypt. Our people saw the power of the Most High. We, we learned God's, God's presence, presence redeems time and event. So, so we, we celebrate, celebrate this power that makes for freedom. Tak nei nu be eta tova 
us a place to rest, O oh God. Shelter us in the long, soft evening shadows of your truth. Through our true protection and safety, in your presence we find love and acceptance. Watch over us as we go forth. Prepare for us as we return. Spread over us your shelter of peace over all we love, over our Jerusalem and yours. Blessed are you, Adonai, the one who spreads a sukkah, a shalom, a, a, a canopy of peace over us, over your people Israel, and over Jerusalem. Together, Baruch Atah Adonai, HaPorei Sukkah Shalom, Aleinu V'Yachol Amo Yisrael, Ve'al Yerushalayim. Interpretations, the words of your heart, either on pages 155 through 167 or up on the screens. Please rise in the ways that you can. Adonai, if I dive deep Oh, Adonai, 
você shalom im roma huya se shalom Shalom aleinu O se shalom Bim roma Uya te shalom Uya se shalom aleinu Ya se shalom Pray now for our loved ones who are in need of healing, the refuah shlema, healing, a uh, complete healing of body, of spirit. This Shabbat, we are praying for Peter Adamson, Larry Benson, Margot Blaustein, Lisa Bush, Claudia de Gisu, Nicholas de Gisu, Richard Feibel, Bruce Goldman, Harriet Goldstein, Lena Hammer. Oliver Horn, John Houston, Sheila Carner, Jay Clapman, Albert Kahn, Leon Curlin, Sherry Levis, Deborah Littman, Joseph Lupkin, Lori Mazzarella, Reese Osmond, Judy Ragona, Eileen Reinfleisch, Francis Risk, Gail Rush, Buddy Scott, Bernice Side, Alan Silverstein, Gilbert Simon, Glenn Swartinsky, Marjorie Van Dow, Allison Rosen Vogel, Lisa Wolper, Edie Weinstein, Izzy Yagoda. If you're thinking of someone online, you can put their name in the chat. And if you if you have a name to add, I'd like you to please say as I go around. Voices as, as one and, and sing together for Israel. 
My honor tonight, this evening, to bring a, a new baby into the covenant of Israel. So it's my honor to, to call up Raylan with, with, with her parents, with Doug and, and Kristen. I want everybody to repeat after me. Rucha. Haba'a b'shem Adonai. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of God. Berach nuchem b'bet Adonai. We bless you in this house of God. Bless you. <laughs> may, may, may this Beit Adonai, this house of God, this home, always be a sacred space, O oh God, filled with your presence, dedicated to Jewish life and traditions. Raylan, may this home be your sanctuary, a place where loving arms will cradle, cradle you, your whole holy community here. For a child has come into the world, we rejoice as we welcome this child into the Brit, the covenant between God and the Jewish people. When the people of Israel stood at Mount Sinai ready to enter into the Brit, God addressed these words to Moses, Thus shall you say to the house of Jacob and tell the children of Israel. Our rabbis taught house of Jacob refers to the women of Israel and children of Israel refers to the men. May we, like all the men and women, all of the people at Sinai, obey God's commands. You shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. Every person born into this world represents something new, something that never existed before, something original and unique. It is up to us to know and recognize that this new person is unique in the world, a singular character and personality, and that there has never been anyone like this child before. For if there had been, there would have been no need for this new life to be in the world. Asher Kishanu with Mitzvotav, Vitzivanu, Bahaknisa, Bebritam, Shal Avraham Avinu, Bisara Imenu. Our parents just said, Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with Mitzvot, commands us to bring this child into the covenant of Abraham, our father, and Sarah, our mother. Eloheinu ve'elohe avotenu v'imotenu kayem et ha'yadah hazot v'aviha u'lima v'yekara shema v'yisrael rut devora v'david avraham Our God and God of our ancestors, we join together now in thanking you for the gift of this precious child and the sacred blessings of this sacred moment. We pray that her life will be one of health and happiness, full of love and learning, May Torah always be in her heart and her hands be engaged with acts of tikkun olam repairing the world around us. As she now receives the Hebrew name Ruth Devorah, but David Avraham, Ruth Devorah, 
Ruth, our, our ancestor who was full of chesed, of compassion, and devorah, our ancestor who was full of gevurah, of strength. We hope that your presence will be with her always, guiding and supporting her through all stages of her life. As she grows, may she do her name proud, honoring those who, who have come before her through her actions and inspiring future generations by way of her spirit and character. May her parents, with great wisdom and patience, guide her in the direction of those Jewish values we have long held so dear. And may her community of friends and family be as present for her always. As we be as present as for her always as we are at this very moment. And together we say, Amen. May this child's life be blessed with happiness, goodness, and wisdom. May she always seek peace and pursue an end to strife among her fellow human beings. May she be a shining light to all who know her, and may she courageously do what must be done. Strengthen us to raise our daughter in the path of our Torah and mitzvot. Help, Help us to lead her in the footsteps of Sarah, Rebecca, Rebecca Rachel, Lynn, Leah, Miriam, Deborah, Hoda, and Esther. In the and footsteps of all our ancestors, ancestors, whose deeds continue to shine across the generations of our people, then shall our daughter bring blessing to our family, her people, and the world. Amen. We all say, Amen. <laughs> so, Raylan, oh, Ruth, <laughs> Ruth Devora, our the the priests in the in the ancient temple, the descendants of Aharon of Aaron, who who the who uh, I was just learning today is, is yard site is, is on the first of Av, which is just today before Shabbat. We had blessed the people with these words, invoking God's blessing. Um, and they were commanded, our tradition says, to say these words in love. So in love, I, I invoke God's blessing on you. May the Eternal One bless you and protect you. May God's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God's face always turn toward you. May you always be lifted up in dignity and in strength by God's presence. May God always bless you with shalom, with peace. And we all say, Amen. We all say, Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov. <laughs> Oh, wait, I forgot one thing. We have here a, a certificate of her naming here. Thank you and, and welcome, welcome Ray into our community. Welcome Doug and Kristen to our community here in Mount Royal. I had, a, I had another boy just yesterday um, discussing, uh, I had a long conversation with, um, with someone who, who, uh, who was thinking of joining our community, a long conversation that went many different Jewish ways, uh, many different Jewish alleyways, and um, I, I'm a little less busy, I'm, I shouldn't say that, but I'm a little less busy in the summer, so I'm here to have these long sprawling Jewish conversations about anything that's on your mind. You come call, make an appointment, and, and we can sit and chat. So this conversation, part of it, talk, we talked a lot about Israel and Zionism and what our relationship to Israel. And it made me think of another conversation I had a couple of weeks ago with a young man who grew up in our, in our congregation who has recently made Aliyah and was living for a while in a village in the, in the West Bank, helping uh, Palestinians, helping protect Palestinian civil rights, human rights. And it made me, this conversation made me think about what's my relationship to, to, to the land? What is, what is justice and peace? What is this holy land calling us to do? 
this week's Torah portion, Matot Mase, Mase, the, the last portions of the book, the uh, Midbar, the book of Numbers. As the Israelites, this is the end of their wandering. Next week, we begin Dvarim, the last book of the Torah, where Moses gives his farewell speech to ready the people to enter into the land. And this week's Torah portion talks about all the places they had been in those 40 years of wandering. And it talks about the borders of this land that they're about to enter into. There's different points in the Torah where it talks about the borders of the land of Israel. Sometimes it's very expansive from the Nile to the Euphrates. Sometimes it's more narrow. So we call it this land, whatever the definitions of the borders are and whatever we think the borders should be today for the state of Israel. We call it the Holy Land. But what does that mean? What does Holy Land mean? In fact, when you read in the Torah portion, it says, do not, in a discussion of murder, God says, do not therefore defile the land which you will inhabit, wherein I dwell. The idea in the Torah, often in the Torah, is that if you don't act in a certain way, the land becomes defiled. And in fact, the land can spew you out. In the Haftarah for this week, it's, the Haftarah is not exactly connected to the Torah portion. The Haftarah is a reading from the prophets. It's a, it's a special reading because we're in the weeks before Tisha B'Av, and the Haftarah comes from, there's three readings from the prophet Jeremiah that we read in these three weeks. And he tells the people that the land is going to be destroyed by the, Babylon, by the Babylonians. They will be exiled because of how they acted, because of their injustice and idolatry. Which is connected to the Torah portion, that you can defile this land. So what does this mean, this holy land? What does it mean to defile it? So I, I learn, I often learn from, from Yeshayahu Leibovitch, uh, the late Israeli thinker, who says that it's not actually the land that is holy. There's nothing special about the dirt in Israel or the leaves or the stones or the coastline. It doesn't have some kind of special, I'll use a fancy philosophical term, ontological status or some kind of mystical, mystical woo-woo going through it. The land, as Leibovitch writes, the land itself does not have any inherent quality which sanctifies everything done in it, but only that which is done in it has the potential of imparting holiness to the land. So he brings a teaching from the ancient rabbis that says, the land of Israel is more hallowed, holier than other lands. But what is its holiness, the mission asks? that one brings from it the Omer and the Bikurim and the Shogeg. So what's the Omer? The Omer is, is your first barley harvest. The Bikurim are the first fruits of the, of the of, you know, your pomegranates, your figs, your olives that you bring to the temple to sacrifice. And the showbread is the, the, the bread that's baked out of these grains that are, that are in the temple, that are baking in the temple. So what, do, what might that mean? The land, I said, is just a place. But the mitzvot, the things, the holy acts that people do there, that's what makes the place holy. Without the acts, it's just a land. Our land here in New Jersey not quite like the land of Israel because there's different kinds of mitzvot that a Jew can do in the land of Israel. That's what the, 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 uh, the Mishnah is teaching. That's what the ancient rabbis are teaching. 
Leibovitch says, if we do not observe these laws, but do the opposite of what the Torah demands of us, the land can be filled, can be defiled, and God's inheritance can become an abomination. So in my conversations about Israel, which I love to have, since, since I, I was young, in then rabbinical school, I wrote uh, my thesis on Zionism. These are ideas that I have been thinking about for a long time. What does Israel mean for us liberal Jews in the, in the diaspora? What does it mean to, for the land to be holy? I don't know. <laughs> I, these are all conversations that I'm always still having and trying to figure out. Sometimes, well, I'll give you a short two-sentence two vision of what is my Zionism. Zionism meaning the idea, the, the idea of Jews living in the land of Israel, the idea of the land of Israel being a beacon for the world. And that's the idea of being a beacon for the world. The or goyim, as the prophet Isaiah says, that it, that it can be a place of holiness, a place of justice. But it's only by what happens, not inherently. We Jews are, no, are not any different than any other people in the world. And the land of Israel, or especially the state of Israel, is no different than any other country in the world, except by what it could be, by how we act. I pray that the leaders of Israel, that the people of Israel continue to study Torah and see that it's not just the idea of Jews who happen to live there. It's the idea of Jews living there and living by a specific, a certain way. Shabbat Shalom. So let us begin to conclude our service with a vision of the world as it could be. Alenu on page 282. If you're able, please rise at the bottom of the page. Alenu le Shabbat Adon Hakol, Ate to do on Rose Rashi, the law of Tanish to do the Haratol, the law of Samar to Mishpaho Adama, the law of Sam Elkenu Kaher, the Lord Alenu to Hok Amona, Vanak to Kori, to Mishnahabi. Let's pray together on 287. May we gain wisdom in our lives, overflowing like a river with understanding. Love each of us for the peace we bring to others. May our deeds exceed our speech. May we never lift up our hand, but to conquer fear and doubt and despair. Rise up like the sun, O God, over all humanity. Cause light to go forth over all the lands between the seas. And light up the universe with the joy of wholeness, of freedom, and of peace. Mayom ha'hu, mayom ha'hu, yihye Adonai echad. Ushimo, ushimo, ushimo echad. We now think of our loved ones whom death has recently taken from us, those who died at this season in years past, and those whom we have drawn into our hearts with our own. We are in the period of Shloshim, the first month of mourning for Fred Golub, Lisa Nas, Edward Schwartz, and Jerry Hodges. 
If you're here to, for a yard site to say, Kaddish for a loved one, please rise when we say their name. We remember this week, we mark the, the yard site, the anniversary of the death of George Anzo, Edward Appel, Margot Berger, Tilly Bernstein, Dorothy Bozelik, Jack Nathaniel Breckman, Vora Bressel, Bresslerman, Alice Brighton, Betty Kayea, Elchanan Echitsum, Samuel Friedman, Rosalind Ginsberg, Betty Goldberg, Betty Goldner, Sam Huberman, Francis Jacobs, David Kirsten, Charlotte Levin, Ruth Mayer, Elizabeth Meisinger, Arthur Paul, Franklin Paul, Victoria Stein, Harry Peter Stern, Sylvia Sturm, Sylvia Sturm Dora Weisbach, and Layla Weisglass. If you're remembering someone and like to say their name, please do so as I go around. If you're online, you can add names to the chat. May their memories be for blessing. The Mourner's Kaddish is on page 294. Please rise. Yitkadal, Yitkadash, Shemei Rabbah, V'yamad, Dibrach, Yerutei, V'yamlich, Malchutei, V'chayechon, V'yomechon, V'chaye, D'cho Beit Yisrael, V'margala, V'vizman, Kari, V'imru, Amen. Yehi Shmei Rabbah Mevarach Ve'olam Olamei Amaya. Yitvarach, Yishtabach, Yitpa'ar, Yitroman, Yitnase. Yithadar, Yithalei, Yithalal, Shmei Dekudashah, Brichu. Ve'elam in kol birchata v'shirata, Tushbachata v'nechemata, Dam Iran v'yalma v'yimru, Amen. Yehi Shlama Rabbah Min Shemaya, Chayim aleinu yal kol Yisrael v'yimru amen. Ose shalom b'mromav hu yase shalom aleinu yal kol Yisrael v'yimru amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us, to all Israel, to all of the world to which we say, Amen. Ose shalom b'mromav. Uya se shalom Aleinu ve'alko Yisrael Ve'imeru Amen After Kiddush, we're in the social... <laughs> After Kiddush... Please join us in the Oreski Social Hall for, for, uh, for Oneg, for our schmoozing, for food, for togetherness. If you're online, please stick around. I'll, we'll, say, we'll say Shabbat Shalom to you. Um, we're on page five with Kiddush. Hey! 
Vietnam, I'm Otsi Lehem Milares. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Shabbat Shalom. Shalom, everybody. Hi. Who wants to see our parents? It's okay, Mom. <laughs> Mom is at UH. Oh, yeah? Okay, good. She's a greeter tonight. Very nice. Okay. Bye. Bye. Hi, Chuck. What? 